Okay, today we're going to cover my fence. I really should have recorded this from the beginning when uh, I started building this thing. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would be interested in this. I'm going to do a quick overview. Uh, first thing I guess is I wanted this thing to last 50 years. So I built my posts out of pressure treated and there's a lot of conflicting information on how to put these posts into the ground. Uh, these things are actually in the ground three feet. And at the bottom of that hole, I put a nice gravel bed, sunk the post in, then I put some dirt in. I didn't put straight concrete in. The concrete is about a foot under the surface here. That way I can get some drainage. And then there's a foot of concrete, and then there's a foot of dirt and gravel. Uh, the idea here is that any water that were to go down in between the pole and the concrete wouldn't get stuck. This wouldn't be sitting in a bowl of water. It would actually go through to the gravel and disperse in the ground. What this here is, this is like a, a weather guard that you would use for your roofing. It's a, uh, a self-adhesive strip that goes around. The idea there is your microorganisms that rot wood, almost all of them live in the first uh, four to six inches of the soil. So if I can protect the wood from contact with those guys, I got a lot better chance of this pole lasting uh, a lot longer. Uh, my basic design is a board on board, but I wanted a fence that looked good from both sides. So I didn't want to have um, the frame on one side, not the other. So what I ended up doing is these are one by fours on each side, but they're mitered in. So I have no connection posts. These actually are mitered in two inches on each side then my board and board comes up and up at the top I again have a one by four uh, that bottom one this guy is actually pressure treated because he's so close to the ground it's ground contact pressure treated uh, another thing on these poles the bottom of the poles are resealed with a ground contact uh, wood protectant uh, just in case because there is going to be moisture and everything else down there all right, and at the top, I wasn't sure if two of these one buys would give me enough support. So what I did here, this is a one by six cap, and it's been mitered underneath and has a nice rounded edge to stop water from coming in. But this is also epoxied together. This entire thing functions like a huge I-beam. Uh, I can sit on this, I can jump on it, it doesn't move and these are screwed down as well. Uh, what I did was I countersank the holes, used stainless steel three inch screws. I pre-drilled them so I wouldn't split these guys. They're ran down in and then I put a wood plug on top that's glued and then shaved off. Uh, the idea is that water won't be going down next to my screw down into my cedar here and rotting it. It seems to have worked wonders. Uh, all my connecting screws, it sandwiches together, all stainless. There are stainless steel pin nails driven through here. They're, they go in at a 45 degree angle. Once again, the idea is water comes down. Nothing's gonna follow the indent of the nail into the meat of the wood and rot it. Um, these caps they're just store-bought uh, 15 bucks I think and I've uh, routered a groove in to put this nice decorative molding 